Hello everyone, now I'm going to show you how to run a batch analysis in Abacus. So here you can see I already have uh, two models in this uh, folder. And uh, these two models uh, is uh, in IMP files. In These two models are IMP files. So now I'm going to run these uh, two models without opening the uh, GUI interface. So Basically, um, using bad file to run models is an extension of uh, using prompt uh, window. So if you remember what we did uh, previously, we just use the uh, shift and uh, click uh, open shell. So we can run these uh, models one by one using open shell without opening GUI interface. So I showed you guys uh, this uh, function when we uh, we tried to export uh, stiffness uh, matrix. So basically, we just uh, put uh, advocates uh, job is equal to the file name and uh, interactive, right? And we hit enter. So basically, then the file will run automatically. And uh, running batch file is an extension of this. So you can see here, when we run this file, this, when we run this uh, model for integration one, all these uh, files will be generated automatically. So we have a status file sta and a results file dot odb and our model file. So these are final files. So after your work is done, you can see it's a full integration completed. Right, and then you can close this, and you can open uh, ODB file to check your results. And here is your status file. You can see the analysis, the analysis has completed successfully. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you how to run this uh, using a bad file. So now let's uh, delete uh, this. And create... Uh, a uh, bad file. So you have to create a txt file first. Let's uh, call it uh, run batch and let's open this file. And we just need to copy this. In this uh, folder. So however, if you have a uh, here, we only have two models. If you have like uh, 20 models, you just need to continue increase uh, this one. So like uh, you have, for example, if you have four models, this will, will be your, uh, will be the contents in your batch file. If you have more models, you just uh, add more uh, file names. It's just a, a repeat of this uh, sentence with the, your new uh, file name. So here we only have two, so I'm going to use two, okay. And then save this. When you save it, and you also need to change this to bat, B-A-T, and hit enter. And yes, now you just need to click this file, and then the abacus prompt will run these files. Let's see what happens. So you can see the first uh, job get started and the analysis input file just uh, began and now we are simulating this uh, model and uh, you want to check your status you want to check the status of your file you can always open a status file however for this file you have to uh, you want to check the latest uh, update you have to open and close it again. If you just keep this uh, uh, file open, the, the software can't write any new step here. If you have multiple steps, like you have a lot of increments, you want to check your latest uh, status, you have to close this file and open it again. So. For the second file, you can see 
it's a uh, we must have something wrong here. Let's check uh, our. So you can see. Uh, see here we have a, a table. We have a table here. That's why we can't finish this job. Now everything is uh, correct, right? So let's do it again. So we run batch file. So if you have uh, these are older files already, so you have to overwrite overwrite them. Click uh, yes and hit enter. Now our first job for integration one. Uh, we are wrong again. So now you can see the first uh, job is uh, done. If you click uh, status file, you can see it says uh, completed successfully. And uh, you can also check your message file. Yeah. And this is your results. You can just use the way that I showed you earlier to open this uh, uh, file to check the results. Now we can see the job is uh, the second job is uh, running. And you can see it's a uh, run uh, stat standard and end uh, abacus uh, analysis. And if you click uh, STA file, you can see the job has uh, completed successfully. So once your job is done, the prompt will close automatically. And now you can just uh, open abacus to check your ODB file. So open and batch analysis. It's just a big one. Now you can see here's the deformation. So that's how you run a batch analysis.